How's everyone doing? Today I'm reviewing the ABCs of Death. And if you've seen the ABCs of Death, definitely let me know what you think of it and let me know which letter segment was your favorite. The ABCs of Death is an alphabet anthology and that is definitely a first. It's a very cool, unique concept. I like what they're doing. There were some fresh ideas for the horror genre. And what they did was they gave 26 directors from all across the world a letter. And the directors that were given these letters would have to come up with a word and they would have to make a short film using that word. And at the end of the short film, it would have to result in death. And so each short film comes up with unique ways to basically kill somebody off. They're all about death, the ABCs of death. And each one of these directors was given a budget of $5,000, so they all have the same budget. Uh, but I will say the quality of these shorts vary drastically. The shorts are all around three to six minutes each, you know, varies from each one. But I will say, I wish there was a wraparound story for this one. It kind of just feels like a, just a bunch of shorts. It kind of feels chaotic. And I think a wraparound storyline would have really worked well here. You know, it could have been like a wraparound story, like uh, The Princess Bride, where somebody's reading somebody a bedtime story, except this one's all about death and all these different letters. Uh, I think a cool concept that I came up with here is, you know, somebody reading a bedtime story. It could be a normal looking, mother or father and uh, you know they're reading throughout the whole uh, alphabet and for each story and then at the end you find out you know you pan over and you see the baby he's not the normal baby he's like a devil baby or mutant baby or something like that and you know can kind of giggles or something like that so it's kind of you know devious I think that would have been a cool wraparound story that would have worked well for this one and without the wraparound story it just feels like a chaotic short film marathon which is basically what the ABCs of death is now I will say there are a couple shocking and sick and twisted scenes in some of these shorts that really kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it and that really won't work well for the mainstream audiences out there. But then again, this is a movie called The ABCs of Death. So I guess it is to be expected that there are going to be some kind of graphic things. But again, like I said before, there's two really kind of sick and twisted moments in some of these shorts that really kind of stand out and they're kind of a little cringeworthy. There's plenty of violence, again, because it is the ABCs of death. There is some nudity, uh, but again, the sick and twisted scenes are the ones that I think will really stand out and kind of push mainstream audiences away. Now, while the majority of the shorts are live action, there is a claymation one. Uh, there's one where people are dressed up in animal suits, kind of like furries, which is actually a really unique one as well. The ABCs of Death is a mixed bag overall. There's a couple stinkers here. Ty West, I'm looking at you again. Ty West short using the letter M was definitely one of the worst ones of ABCs of Death. And in the movie VHS, his segment was also one of the worst ones. So if people want to have Ty West on for, you know, shorts or anthologies, it's a bad idea, at least so far seeing what he's done. And while Ty West short M was bad, G was by far the worst by uh, director Andrew Triuki. It just seemed like he took the $5,000 and just went surfing. That was such a letdown of a short. It stands out as the biggest stinker of the whole film. The best shorts by far, in my opinion, are D, X, L, and Y. Those ones really stand out, especially D. It's so stylistic, kind of that slow down motion, just very visually stunning. And X was really surprising and it has some social commentary but with a very graphic edge. And Y, again, has some uh, social commentary and uh, certain aspects there. Again, it's kind of, you know, bizarre and creepy, a little bit sick and twisted. Uh, but you, you kind of like what, how it plays out in that one. And L and P are the two shorts that have the sick and twisted scenes. But I did think L was actually a really good short, uh, very unique and inventive. And I'm not going to tell you what each letter stands for because part of the fun of watching this movie is when you watch it with somebody else or just by yourself even, uh, you can try to guess uh, what each letter is going to stand for because it doesn't tell you what each letter stands for until the end of the short. So it's kind of a cool game you can play. And like I said before, there's some ones that have some graphic subject matter and then there's some ones that are kind of, you know, more comedic. And there's a lot of ones like that in here, especially from uh, the Asian directors where they play the over-the-top uh, comedy aspects that they're kind of known for for their horror films. And there's also the ones that are self-aware, uh, like the director who had the letter Q. They kind of just kind of poke fun of it because, you know, what can they do with the letter Q? There's some stuff they could have come up with, but I like how they played it out. And it's actually kind of funny as well. There are lots of talented directors here. Angela Bettis, uh, Xavier Jens, uh, Ty West, while I didn't like his shorts here, he is a talented director outside of uh, the short realm. The director of a Serbian film, uh, Serjan Spaziovic, and the director of Ho with a Shotgun, Jason Eisner. And there's a lot of other well-known directors in here as well in the horror realm. And I think there's some really cool, creative, unique ideas here. And I like how each segment was completely different from the next one. And again, like I said before, a lot of the Asian directors kind of play up the comedic tone, which uh, some Asian horror films may be known for. Uh, that could be 
good or bad depending on how you go with it, but sometimes it seems like it's a bit too much in some of the ones because there's a few ones that kind of play up those comedic aspects. And it's like, come on, we've seen enough of the comedic ones. Let's see some, some gore. Let's see something a little bit fresh and unique. We've seen these ideas before. I think it's definitely a must-watch if you're a horror fan. It's one of those movies you can just put on with your friends, have a few drinks with, and just really kind of have a lot of fun with this movie. And again, the guessing game for each letter as well. You can see if you can figure out uh, what word it's going to be for that letter. And if you're into outrageous cinema, it's definitely one I think you'll appreciate. And if you're a horror fan of any kind of subgenre, I think there's something here for you. Uh, there's so many different shorts and ideas. There's basically something for everyone as far as a horror fan goes. I really like the concept here, what they did with the Alphabet Anthology, and I would love to see more films out there like that. Maybe a sequel for ABCs of Death, maybe this time add a wraparound story that kind of ties it all together. I think that would be really cool. You can even use my idea for, you know, telling a bedtime story and you pan over and you see the creepy looking kid, a demon baby or something like that. Come on. You can have it. It's, I'm giving it to you. It's a gift. Some of the short films are very unique and very imaginative. A lot of fresh ideas here, some great gore effects, uh, some really cool things going on. And then there's some stinkers. There's some ones where it kind of, it just, it seems like people didn't even try. There's really only a couple of those. And again, there's a lot of comedic horror as well. Like I said, it's a mixed bag, but I definitely feel the good far outweighs the bad here. There's really only a couple stinkers, but there's way more ones that are worth checking out. Just on those merits alone, I think it's a must watch for horror fans. And like I said before, there's something here for everyone to enjoy. And there's some fantastic gore effects here, some good thrills. And like I said, the quality does vary uh, from short to short. But overall, I think it's definitely worth checking out if you're into horror. Uh, again, some great imaginative fresh ideas, some very visceral feeling shorts, uh, some very uh, visually stunning shorts as well. The ABCs of Death is what I definitely call pure horror entertainment. Mine is two shorts. The rest is... Definitely very entertaining and definitely something that I would recommend for horror fans. I give the ABCs of Death an 8 out of 10 stars. And if you've seen the ABCs of Death, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. And let me know which letter short was your favorite. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.